Happy New Year! Welcome to 2022 and welcome to Rue's ABCs. If you are here for the first time, my name is Rue and this is my channel where I share with you adventures as well as beauty and lifestyle tips and career advice. For our first video for 2022, I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. It's a simple makeup look that you can do in under 15 minutes, alright? I'll be showing you how to get from this to this. Okay, so let's get down to it. So this is my makeup routine that I do when I'm going to work or when I'm just going outside the house or when I just want to feel and look good. I will be sharing with you the products that I use as well. You can really pull this look off on a budget, I don't want to lie, because most of the stuff that I use I buy them from those, is it like China shops or Nigerian shops? Yeah. First things first, after washing my face, making sure that it's cleansed, I've scrubbed, sometimes I steam. To make sure that my skin is really really clean you find that makeup usually applies better when your skin is really nice and clean the first thing that i normally do is moisturize my lips with vaseline blue seal original i just take a bit and apply on my lips like that so that they're not chapped or cracked or anything after moisturizing my lips, next thing I want to do is go in with my moisturizer. Um, I use Nivea Soft for face, body and hands. I'm sure you've seen this somewhere. Is it focusing? Yeah. So this is the moisturizer that I use. And then I just dab that on my face. I just dab it all over my face and apply. Mm -hmm. So I make sure that my skin is really nice and moisturized. Mm. Mine is a bit oily, so sometimes by the time I'm coming from work, it's as shiny as a mirror, if I dare say. Alright, so that's it for the moisturizing part and then I go in with this Pond's Punishing Cream. That's what I use just to mattify my face a little bit. I feel like it helps me control that shine that I usually get during the day. So I just take it in and apply all over my face. Making sure that we get everything, okay? Alright, so hmm. this feels and smells good. Alright, so after that, we're getting into the makeup now. So, this is the good stuff, okay? The first thing that I do is go in with this holy brush. I don't know if you've seen this little brush, it kind of looks like a mascara brush or something like that. Yeah, this camera keeps the solution to focus, but uh, I just use this to calm my eyebrows like that. I comb them upwards. Mine are really sparse, so mm, those with sparse eyebrows, I'm sure you know what I'm going through right now. After I comb out my eyebrows, I go in with this brown eyeliner. It's just one of those that you get from China shops or those ladies who sell outside or those you know those tiny cosmetic shops in town okay so what i do is i just make sure that the teeth is sharpened right all right so i like to start with the bottom line of the brow i just follow the shape of my natural brows and then i'm going to do the same for the other eyebrow 
yeah so this might take me a bit longer than i usually do because i'm recording so i'm trying to make sure everything is perfect all right so after that i go on the top of the brow and shake that as well see mm -hmm. and then we go on the other side we do the same thing again like that I'm sorry guys, if these don't come out looking the same it's probably because I am not used to doing this in front of the camera I usually like go in to the mirror it's almost like I'll be a few centimeters like two centimeters away from the mirror to see what I'll be doing but yeah, and then I'm just gonna fill them out like that I hope you can see what I'm doing hopefully we pray this comes out nice Jesus. Okay. okay I think this will work hopefully oh my god so I don't sometimes I make them very dark but these days I just like to get them looking a bit fluffy and light all right so after that I go back again with my spoolie brush and you know how people have that faded look at the beginning of their eyebrows this is the trick to it so you take your spoolie brush hold it like this I don't know if you can focus um, once you hold it like this you come at the teeth of your eyebrow like that and then you just drag the spoolie brush away from the brow I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing so you have to be careful to use very light strokes otherwise you erase the eyebrow totally so yeah like that so this is to make sure you don't have you know that strong definition of the brow that people usually have I don't like that so in this case I have sort of erased these teeth totally so I'm just going back in, lightly brushing that with the eyebrow pencil and then I do that again to make sure you can't really see where the brow begins, alright? After that I just comb the hairs upwards like that, you know, just to give them that natural appearance. Yeah, I think I've messed this one up, but anyway, okay. That's better, isn't it? They're almost tweens, I think. <laughs> Alright, so the next step is I go in with this brush. There we go. So I go in with this flat brush and go brush from Urban Decay. And then I normally use concealer for this step but I don't have concealer right now so I have this Fenty Beauty foundation that I use uh, so that's what I use to really define my eyebrows so what I do is sorry guys I destroyed the pump for this so I just open it up and then take a bit from here and I go under my brows I hope you guys can see what I'm doing I go under my brows, do a straight line that follows the shape that we do to the eyebrow pencil and then just clean that up and then pull it downwards like that mm. you can see and then I make sure to blend it out a bit so that you can't really see where the foundation starts I do the same with the other brow, follow the shape made by the eyebrow pencil. Oh god. Okay. Not bad. And then again we drag it downwards. We don't want it to be clumpy and to have too much at the top, you know? So we just blend that out, make sure there is no clear demarcation of where it's starting, right? 
and then I just go in with this brush and spread it all over like that mm -hmm. all right so as you can see we just applied the foundation just below the eyebrow so the next thing I'm gonna do is add more foundation and cover the whole of my eyelid like that I don't know if you guys can see but I hope you can see so I have eyes that have got this dark pigmentation it's almost like dark circles or something so this just helps to even out the skin tone okay so make sure you use a foundation or concealer because most people use concealer for this step that is your shade some people like to use lighter shades that are maybe one shade lighter than their normal shade but I like to use something that matches my skin tone alright so we covered this one as well with this foundation if you're using concealer that's fine you do the same so I'm just trying to even out the skin tone for my eyelids because they're a bit darker than the rest of my face all right so we get eyebrows so if you're going just for eyebrows you're done some people like to clean the top but I just like to leave it like this so the next step you see here my eye will be dark under my eyes it's like it's like they're almost deep set you know like you have this sort of depressions or dips in the eyes under the eyes so we're gonna fix that by putting some foundation on it if you have concealer that's fine you can use concealer but I'm gonna use foundation and I usually just apply it in a triangular formation as you can see like that and then I do the same for the other eye yeah, so I make sure not to apply it directly onto the lower eyelid just I'll fix that when I use the beauty blender all right so as you can see I have applied the foundation and today if you're using concealer I'm sure you've applied your concealer so the next thing now will be to blend it's important to blend I use a damp beauty blender I have this one so I just make sure I get it wet and then squeeze it and then I go in and pat the foundation. So the goal is to make sure it blends with your skin so that people don't see where it starts or ends. Make sure you get that lower eyelid perfectly. Go into that crease, go into the tear duct like that. Make sure you bring it to the bridge of your nose as well. Because you don't want people to see where the foundation starts and ends. So blend, honey, blend. So we're just gonna dab it like that. Make sure you bring it out like that so that it's not just around your eyes that will look weird. Alright, so make sure you bring it up like that. Blend. And get the sides of your nostrils good going to that crease okay all right make sure you get that is it a cheek this part that i'm tapping i don't know let me know in the comments but yeah good it's new you can't even see it so i usually don't like to do a full face coverage because i like to let my skin breathe i just do this so that i can correct this area of my eyes all right and then some people might like to do a full face um even when you're doing this you might find that maybe your foundation comes all the way down here so i have smile lines these ones so have you ever applied makeup and then you spend the day and by the end of the day you get these lines in here so i try by all means to avoid getting any product in this area i just make sure it's here and here and make sure that it doesn't come here that way I avoid those small lines all together all right so that's that now we are going to set our makeup so I use this Urban Decay brush I know it's not a powder brush but 
that's what I use. It's perfect for me. So I go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, the branding is totally gone. I've had this for quite some time now, but I like this because it really works. You'll be set for the whole day. So this is what it looks like. It's very yellowish and stuff. So you just dip your brush in there, just a bit, and you tap off the excess. And then under your eyes, just make sure you dab your brush, putting the project down there. Some people like to bake and put a lot of product there, but I don't. So I just put enough to make sure the area is set. So what's gonna happen is whenever you use a cream or liquid product, you need powder to set it so that it doesn't crease. So that's what I'm doing. Everywhere I have applied foundation or concealer, I make sure that I set it with some powder. So this one is a bit lighter. It's almost like a translucent setting powder, but it's a bit lighter than my normal face powder so I just put it under the eyes right here so that I brighten that area up you know we're trying to remove those dark circles and then after that I go in with my MAC studio what is it called well this MAC studio finish or something it's a loose powder as well this one so it's a loose powder that is in the shade and C45 so I will apply this to the rest of my face to make sure that I don't look weird with some parts having a powder and other parts with nothing at all. So I first get those areas where I have applied foundation because we don't want them to be messy and shiny and stuff like that. So I go in with that. So this is what I use to set the rest of my face. So yeah, we make sure we really buff that up, you know, get under the chin and then we come here where we put foundation below the eyebrow and then we get my fiber. <laughs> Five head gang, are you there? If you are team five head, please leave a shout out in the comments below. Just say hashtag five head. All right. So I get my nose as well. Mm -hmm. So we just want to make sure everything is blended out seamlessly so that we don't look weird or like Casper. Yeah, giving people ghost vibes, Casper vibes. Shame. We don't want to do that. We want to slay and rock this makeup. So I also try by all means to get my eyebrows because they get really oily. I have a bit of oily skin. So I just dab some product on top of them so that at least they can last a bit longer. All right. There we go. Our face is done. Ooh. Mm. Do you see how it looks? All right, so now we're going on to eyeshadow. So I have this palette. My niece got it for me for my birthday. Kunashe, shout out to you, baby girl. She bought this for me. I like it. It's got a wide range. I know it's not a lot of colors that are bright and whatnot but i like neutral and nude colors so this palette is the bomb shout out to my baby girl for getting this for me okay so i just keep my brushes in there as you can see i don't know if it's focusing i have my brushes in there so what we are going to do first is i'm going to use this brush it's an urban decay brush as well it's sort of angled um it's not really an eyeshadow brush but i use it for this part so first i'm gonna go in with this color and 
we're gonna put this all over our eyelid so it's a bit of redness or reddish color i don't know the proper term for that so this is like what i use to you know put some color not just let it look like i only have powder on there so i do the same for the other eyelid okay make sure you're getting on that brow bone as well okay make sure you get the crease okay i don't think you can see it and then after that i'm gonna go in with this shiny one over here so i get a little onto my brush we're gonna be generous with this one all right so what we're gonna do is i just go in there with this shiny one like that and then we do the same on the other eye cover the whole eyelid so we're almost doing like a crescent shape as an crescent shape for the moon and then make sure you get that tear duct as well it will get all nice and bright and then drag the brush a bit along the bottom eyelid like that oh i got powder in my eyes all right so yeah we got our shiny i don't know if you can see it and then we're gonna do a smoky eye for this one so what i'm gonna do is get a dark color this one in the middle and then we apply it on the outer corners of our eyelids the top one so i dab this and i use this brush it's a bit of a fluffy kind of brush i don't know if you can see it so okay, let me do this maybe you see it better okay so this is the brush oh oh wait so it's a fluffy kind of brush you can use a normal eyeshadow brush for this but this is actually a paint brush that i used to use at school <laughs> i did art so yeah so what i do is i go into the outer corner and using circular motions first we just get it in there and then use wind wipe what a windscreen wipe for motion we just get that crease so we're gonna do that for the other eye circular motions first and then we green white uh, motion like that so that you get into the cream so make sure you get a bit under that bar one you can use a, a, diff, a, a you can use a different color if you want that really speaks to you okay so there we got our smoky eye so the next step we're gonna do is liquid liner oh i like my this is my favorite I don't know if you can see it yeah so this is like a liquid one with a wand in it i've tried markers i don't like markers as soon as they touch my eyeshadow it's like they dry up i don't like that so i like this one better so for the this one what you need to do is you draw a line to do the we're gonna do a get eye so i just start by doing the outer line i don't make them too long or too short and then once you have this line you're gonna go in one motion and drag like that all right so you get more liner do the same for the other eye make sure you don't put a lot otherwise it will smudge There you go. And then just apply it evenly so that it fills the whole shape that we've created. Okay. And then do the same for the first eye. Like that. And voila, we have our eyeliner. The next step, 
Booby. Ooh, this cat eye is the bomb, honey. Mm. So the next step we'll be using mascara. This is the mascara that I have. So I don't like the ones that's in this one. So I loved this extreme mascara. I love extreme mascara from Essence. They have a very perfect wand for applying. But they have this wand, okay. It really does the job for me in comparison to this one. I don't like this wand at all because it just clumps up and smudges. So what I do is I take, but the, the Essence one is empty. So I take the Essence wand and put it on this new mascara that I have and then just grab as much mascara as I can. So how I apply mascara is that I bring my eye here and then roll it outside. Roll the wand outwards. That way you get more mascara on. Okay, so we do the same for this other eye. Roll it outwards and upwards. And then make sure you get every single lash. Upwards and outwards. And there we go. That's my look. So the final beat that I do is I take a black eyeliner and then I go in on the outer part of my lower eye, lower eyelid like that. Does anyone else make faces when they apply makeup? I find myself doing and stuff. But well, I just do that. Make sure you don't make it too dark. So I apply it only halfway most of the time and then make sure it's coming off from the corners. So there you have it. What do you think? We have our makeup look. And that's it for the face. Oh, the last bit that you might want if you're somebody who likes to have fuller lips and stuff, take a brown eyeliner. The one that you use for our eyebrows. Uh, focus, honey. Oh well, it won't focus. This one. So what you're gonna do, make sure you go on your lips, trace the outer lip like that. Starting with the top one. And then it's like you're gonna create an M shape based on your natural shape of your lips. And then do that for the bottom lip as well. All right. Mm. Oh. And that's it. The final look. Last but not least, we're gonna have to deal with the hair. Whoa. <laughs> we're gonna take this off. So I finally got permanent locks <laughs> with extensions, but okay, there we go. If you want to do your edges, this is the part where you do your edges. This is the final look, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. So if you like my video, make sure you like it, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing from me. Subscribe if you haven't and also share. So until next time, bye!